Hi, my Nomad Sculptors. This is Sven from Creative Spielplatz. And today I want to show you a little tutorial on how you can make stylized fur like I did in my last creature sculpt. To do so, we will add a new base shape, in this case a UV sphere, to our scene. Um, this base shape we need to know where our fur will go. So make this base shape the shape you want your fur in the end. You can low, use a very low resolution because this is only a guide. If you hear some thing in the background, this is my dog. I think he's falling asleep. <laughs> so okay, after we get this base sphere, you need to use the tube tool lock your front view, use the curve in your tube tool and draw a little curve like this. For me I use four points to manipulate the tube. I activate the spline and I also activate the front and the end radius. I make a little small front radius and a bigger end radius. Now I manipulate the four points, so the tube, the way I like it. I switch to the side view, also lock it. Again, manipulate the points the way I like. And now I switch to the gizmo tool and move the tube to the middle of my base shape, rotate the view again, move it in position. So after this is done, I go to the primitive menu and lower the X direction a lot because the fur will be very small in our scene and we don't need to have much polygons here and we also create lots of tubes so we in the end we have a lot of polygons to deal with also uncheck constant density and reduce the division y okay 15 polygons so we validate this no we not validate this before we validate, we clone our tube. And clone it again. And clone it again. And clone it again. Now, we unactivate the gizmo and manipulate each of these tubes in a different way so that our fur is not looking the same or every half of our fur is not looking the same as the other. Just tweak them around, take your time, make it the way you like it to be. And now we validate each tube We go to the scene menu, select each tube and join it. So we have an object with five single hairs or tubes. Now you can go to the smooth tool, unselect symmetry, take a low intensity and just soften the tip of your hairs a little. Some more, some less. After you do so, back to the gizmo, clone again, rotate and position along your base shape. Do it again. And I think now you 
already get a hang on how this works. A lot of handmade rotations and positioning. And so you do your way along your base shape you created in the first step. So there's uh, another tip I can give you. When you do work like this, you can always join some of your already made fur together. And so you have a larger, a larger area you can clone. And tweak around. But you need to be careful because um, if it's too big, you can't follow your base shape. Maybe. Good. One extra tip I like to give you, I don't want save, is this. Let me just color in my fur my base shape so we can see better and we also want to turn on post process so that's not that field so now we can see there are some problems and some areas you see the tubes don't hit the shape and to correct that, you can go and use the move tool. And in the stroke settings, you need to check that connected topology is activated and symmetry is deactivated. Use more intensity and a smaller size of the tube. And now when you hit one hair, you will be able to only move that one hair. So see this. Now you can easily get your hairs into your base shape. And normals and symmetry needs to be off. So sometimes it turns on, I don't know why, but it needs to be off. And you can also now change the shape and the position of single hairs in that fur you already created. So if you see something like this overlapping, you can just put it outwards. And this is the way you can create stylish, nice fur. So if we zoom out now, you see this looks great. Okay, thanks for watching and hope to see you again. Bye bye.